Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. If you have a gardening question you'd like our host Fred Howard to answer, send him an email. The email address is fred at planttalkradio.com. Now for today's question. I have a, several patches of crabgrass that has come up this year. Okay. Now, three years ago, I had uh, quite a bit, and we got that out of there. But now in the last couple of years, it has just come back, and um, I have a, a company that takes care of my yard, but apparently something isn't working properly so I can get rid of this. It's really a mess. Sounds like a question for you, Ashton. Well, uh, I, I, I tell you what, the, um, when you put a crabgrass preventer down in the spring, uh, you hope to get about 90% or so control. And uh, that's why crabgrass is still with us after all these years. We've had these great products to prevent crabgrasses. If you get one crabgrass plant, it's capable of uh, producing thousands of, of seeds. And so, you know, as you describe it, over a couple of years, you've kind of built up a few crabgrass plants. The good news is they're gonna, it's going to die um, with the first killing frost. That's not going to probably be for at least another five, six weeks. Um, and until then, it's going to still put out seeds. So you can you can knock it back. Uh, Ortho has a uh, has a crabgrass killer uh, that also kills other weeds. You could spot treat it. It's uh, Ortho uh, Weed Be Gone Max plus crabgrass killer, but it works it works best on young crabgrass. When new crabgrass gets kind of mature this kind of year, the time of year you'll knock it back. But it's going to die anyway. The main thing is make sure that the pre-emergent goes down next spring. Should I double up on it because it's it's beginning to fill in every place now. Well, some pre-emergents are better than others. I'm not sure who, uh, which product they are using, but that would be something you would ask lawn service uh, if they would want to do a second application. Because some some experts recommend where you've got a real bad problem putting down an early application, and uh, uh, say by uh, early to mid-April, depending upon where you are there in Ohio, and um, and then maybe following up uh, with an application in June. What happens a lot of times, too, is if, if the grass is mowed too short, mm-hmm. then crabgrass has an easier chance getting a, get germinating, even though the pre-emergent has been put down. Or maybe if the lawn gets injured for some reason, and, uh, or maybe you have a drought uh, and, the, and the, the lawn thins, then sometimes crabgrass can sneak in there in the middle of the summer, even though the pre-emergent has been put down. It uh, has a lot of sun come on it. There's, there aren't any trees in that particular area. And it is on the southwest area. Whether that has a, a something to do with it? Um, well, that does. Uh, anytime you've got uh, the area that gets the most sunlight, that's the area that got heated up, uh, where the soil got heated up early in the spring. So maybe the first crabgrass germinated there. Mm-hmm. And uh, and of course, if the lawn gets weakened during this during the summer. But I I would ask them if they would want to do a second application. I don't know what crabgrass pre- pre- preventer they're using. Some of them. Uh, give you season-long control with just a single application. Some of them uh, recommend doing a second application. Hey, thanks again for listening to our podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our other podcasts as well, the Plant of the Week podcast and the Plant Talk Radio podcast, all on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. If you'd like to sponsor a daily podcast, contact us at fred at planttalkradio.com. To find out more about Fred Hauer and Plant Talk Radio, visit our website, planttalkradio.com. Circle270media.com.